van life like? To me, it's freedom, being able to do what you want, when you want, without really worrying about other things. Because once you've loaded the van up and you've gone, you're starting another new adventure. To me, vans are about relaxing. I am only worried, I'm only concerned about what's going on in that van at that moment. That was in 1978, I think, and um, we were away in that van for three and a half months. Mm -hmm. So that was where it started. That was probably about five years later. And somewhere in there, there's a three-month-old baby. And that oh, yeah. is a Honda Z600 with a 600cc air-cooled twin-cylinder engine. And we drove one of them to the south of France we and did. back. We did. That little beauty is the pickup. That's A100 pickup, same as the van. What's that van, Terry? Jennings Road Transit with a Jennings Road Ranger, Jennings Road Ranger conversion. Road Ranger. Three litre V6 for the petrol heads. And that little SD70 used to fit on the back of that van, didn't it? Yeah. It used to go everywhere with us. It actually fell off once. So it yes, it did. <laughs> I wish we'd still got that. I wish we'd actually got most of them. <laughs> so we'll go down the road, get in a nice traffic jam for half hour. It gets you out of your comfort zone, doesn't it? Two to three months of the year, ever since 1993, one way or another. It started with a weekend, one very cold Easter, wasn't it? It was actually snowing the first time we took it out. Yeah. <laughs> snowing. Uh, where was it, Terry? Born Toft. Toft. But it was actually snowing. And it was amazing because we had a van with a heater proper full-on heater. Sometimes we just come down here and have cups of tea, don't we? Yeah. Some people take their dogs for a walk on the beach. We bring the dodge for a walk. <laughs> One of the best things you can do on a wet, rainy day. Put on your wetsuit and just get wetter. <laughs> wheels, they're not standard to it, they came off the pickup I used to have. The period for the, the vans, so I'm quite happy with them. The, the van itself, over the standard van, it had the roof chopped off it, the back door's taken off it, and it's got this one piece glass fibre shell put on it. The, you get more height in the roof for standing up in, and the little pods on both sides. People say they're sort of jet thruster pack things, but in actual fact, they're just to give you a proper six foot bed in the back. Yeah, that's the pods that stick out. And from that point onwards, the people who converted it, they then went and chopped through the side of it to make a side entrance. And then they chopped through the chassis. They dropped the floor down 15 inches and they used the bits that they cut off the back of the van, the two doors, they actually used the doors here for the... That's one of the back doors. That's why it's got the name on it. Yeah, there's a Dodge badge there and there's also another one on the front door. But of course that Dodge badge used to be on the back. 
I think they used a split screen for the one simple reason, it was just the way they'd always done it and it was cheap. But of course it's really good because if you do get a brick and the window gets broken it's straightforward automotive grade laminate screen so any place can cut you out a new one and you just fit it. Toothbrushes always there, toothpaste always there, complete set of toiletries they're always in here. It was so that when I used to come home from work on a Friday at uh, four, I didn't have to pack. I just had to shove most clothes in. Yeah. And that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Everything was always yeah. and in I had here. To, I had to fill the fridge with uh, lager. <laughs> stuff like that. Important stuff. <laughs> this is basically home. That, that, that old saying, home is where you park it, it actually is with one of these. You know, you, you've got everything you can ever want. The blue sky up there. Oh yeah. One little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh.